Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little bit of an untraditional video for you, but I actually have a lot of really cool stuff that I'm going to show you. So actually, in this box right here, it's not a compressor, I promise, but here's a here's a little bit of a hint if you can read the tape right here. Park performance. So Payday is actually getting his first round of actual goodies, whereas before we put on wheel spacers and an exhaust. So actually that counts. Thank you, Corsa, by the way, for the exhaust. But anyways, we got more stuff for Payday. Now we are actually going to start the build for the first time before there was an exhaust because it's kind of like this is what you do on every car. You have to have an exhaust. But now we're getting into the detailed parts of actually improving how the car drives. So anyways, before we start unboxing anything, I'm actually going to pull Payday inside so that way the car can start cooling off before we drain the oil and then we'll go ahead and start unboxing stuff. So before we actually open anything that's car related, there is one thing that I want to show you guys just because it's actually kind of cool. As a lot of you probably know, I am a Dr. Squatch ambassador, which means that you can actually get 20% off anything from Dr. Squatch by using code Zorby at checkout. So give it a shot sometime. Anyways, they actually came out with Star Wars themed soap. It is actually pretty impressive how cool that this shit is. So they got a soap for Obi-Wan, they got a soap for Yoda, they got a soap for Darth Vader, and they even got one for Darth Maul, which is probably my favorite one. So anyways, this shit's pretty cool. I know that a lot of you guys who are following me are probably a bunch of nerds too. I like Star Wars. If you like Star Wars, you should definitely check this out. And also, if you want to support me, you should also go try using my code at Dr. Squatch. See what you can get. See if you like anything. So anyways, now let's get on to actually opening some car parts. So now this big ass box right here, which it was really funny. This came in the mail at my house and Sarah texted me. She was like, hey, your air compressor came in, which I knew I didn't order an air compressor, but. Okay, first of all, before I get into this, I'm sorry I keep stopping, but I just wanna say a huge thank you to Parker Performance and all the guys over there. They have been extremely awesome to work with so far. I haven't even done anything with them, and they have been so supportive compared to most companies that I've worked with in the past. It is incredible, because these are the first people I have ever worked with who were like, what do you wanna do? Instead of saying, hey, we wanna put this on your car, or, hey, promote our product, or hey, do this for us, it's more of, what do you want to do and how can we help you get there? Which I fucking love because I am the total opposite for majority of people that do shit with their cars. So just want to throw that out there. Parker Performance, they are awesome. They've been great to me. So if you want to shop for anything for your Mustang, check them out first. That's, that's all I'm going to say. So now let's get into this because I am extremely excited for some of the stuff that's in here. Ooh, ooh, shit. All right, so that's the first one. Air Raid, and then, ooh, got some merch. God damn, this all is so tall. This box is so damn tall, dude. Ooh, shit, ooh. So they've actually sent stuff to me in the past, and I haven't really talked about it on camera yet because I haven't had a use for it. So, ooh, 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 I see the part that I've been waiting for. This is the exciting one, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that is so fucking exciting. Oh, so. Oh, dude, I'm at a loss for words. I'm I'm gonna talk about that later. That's gonna be so exciting. I'm so lit for that one part. Is this a shit ton of st what the fuck? Oh yes, yes. Ooh, I've been waiting for that too. That's lit. And we got some additives for the oil. All right, this is this is just a whole nother box that I'm gonna. Okay, hang on. Give me. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna snap my fingers and do this really cool editing trick where everything's gonna look real pretty. 
Damn, would you look at that? Everything's all sorted out. Today, what we're gonna be messing with is going to actually be this. We got a new high flow air filter for the car. So that's gonna be a start. And then after that, we've actually got everything we need for a complete oil change using some Liquid Molly motor oil. We've also got an additive from Liquid Molly that actually is supposed to help get rid of that infamous coyote tick. So I don't really know if it helps. This is just all things that they have recommended to me. I was like, yo, I gotta change the oil soon. And they actually said, hold on, because all of this stuff right here, all of the liquid molly actually comes in a kit. It is an oil change kit, so that way you can very easily just get all this stuff shipped straight to you and you have everything you need. And it actually does come with a billet UPR drain plug. I believe. And this is also something that's pretty cool. So in the 18 Mustangs and GT350s, they actually switch to a drain plug that is more of a insert like twist and it locks in place and then you twist it and just pull it out. There's no actual threads. They made these so that way they're made of billet aluminum and you can actually unscrew the tip which I can't do with one hand, but you unscrew the tip and actually just squirts out the little nipple right there. So anyways, these are pretty cool. So something else that they actually sent for Payday is a Barton Hybrid 3 short throw shifter. So I have actually been waiting for this thing for so long. And not only this, they also sent a white line trans mount bushing insert thing. I'm not exactly sure what to call this. All I know is that it actually goes inside of your transmission bushing because they're actually hollow in the center. So this fills the gap so that way there's not any wiggle room in there. But anyways, I am extremely excited for this shifter and it honestly is the part that I've been most excited about for this car. If you go back to my video or originally introducing the car, look at this. That is in gear. This is the one thing that I've hated about this car ever since I got it, which the transmission and the shifter itself are not bad. But the part that I hate is how much the shifter moves even whenever it's in gear. That is way too much slop. This is going to eliminate all of that. So now that we've got all that out the way, now we can actually set it aside and start changing the oil and payday. So anyways, let's hop into it. It's actually kind of sad how little I've actually done with this car since I got it. But honestly, I just haven't really had anything to do. Um, ooh, also, speaking of stuff to do to this car, this is something that's actually pretty cool. I got some GT350 wheels. These are actually off of Gavin's old GT350, Lucifer, um, the one that you guys haven't seen on his channel in a while. So anyways, got some new wheels, which is actually gonna be much better than the stock PP1 wheels that we got right here. I believe there's a 255 on the front and a 275 on the rear. So whenever we slap these bad boys on the car, we'll be going with a probably 325 in the rear of the car and also like a 305 in the front. So I'm pretty excited for that. I got something special for these. I'm not gonna tell you guys about it yet. We're just gonna do it later and you'll find out. So anyways, oil change, let's get to it. First thing though, out of this oil change, I wanna go ahead and just knock this air filter out because um, why not? So anyways, performance air filter. I don't really know if performance air filters really do anything for the performance of a car especially on a stock airbox, but I've heard a lot about how the stock airbox on these cars is actually pretty decent. So we'll pop this thing open. We can pop this off, pop this puppy open. Okay, what the hell? Ah, it compresses. Okay, like that. So that's the difference between your factory air filter and the air raid one that we'll be putting in. Yep, so I believe it actually goes like this and we can just drop this thing in there. Bam, plus 10 horsepower. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and drain the oil. So what we're gonna need is this oil filter. I don't know what this is. It's surprisingly heavy. So I'm kind of curious what's in this. I thought this was the oil filter, but I'm probably wrong considering there's one right there. Is this just paper? Oh my God, it's just paper. So it's just notepads, it looks like. Huh. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but it might come in handy at some point. Oh yeah, also, they sent a model of my car, some inserts for cup holders, and a hat and t-shirt, so that's pretty cool too. And this little thing. I don't even know where the oil filter's at on these cars, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. It's a little bit of a tighter fit than I expected. Damn, wouldn't it be nice if I just had a two post lift? If you see this, this is the plastic drain plug that I was talking about earlier. It's just got some little plastic tabs on it. Ah, twist it over the tabs. There we go. There it is. Ooh, yeah. Oh God, I hope it can 
Oh, there's so much oil. Oh, I was not expecting it to fill up that fast. Ooh, okay, all right, all right, it's getting full. Go ahead and put in our new drain plug. If I can figure out how to get it to my other hand. Ooh, I believe we just stick that in. Yeah, and then suck it on down. Ha <laughs> ha. And there we go. Now we have, ooh, that is so much more sturdy. We have a billet aluminum drain plug now that also on the tip, there is a nipple so you can even just twist it like that and it'll actually start draining on its own. But I'm not gonna do anything with that yet. I'm gonna tighten it back down, put it back in. And that's awesome. Now I gotta find the oil filter because I don't know where that's at. Ah, there is oil all over the ground now, shit. Oh, wow. What? Oh. Oh, this oil's green? That's so fucking cool. Oh, I'm about to clickbait the shit out of this video around this. I know green oil is a thing. I know Modal does it. I didn't know that this oil was gonna be green. Is there a section of the under tray that has to come off? Where the fuck is it? Oh man, that is ass. That is a horrible location for it. Okay, so I actually have to remove a cover for it. It's like an eight millimeter, something like that. No, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a quarter. So we'll take this off. Oh, it's not a quarter. It is bigger than a quarter. So maybe it will be a 10. I really think it's, okay, an eight. Probably is an eight, not a quarter. Wow, this is too big. So I know it's not gonna be smaller than a six, but I also have a seven. Let's try the six first, just cause it's looking extra small. It's not a six. Wow, dude, why is this Mustang such a pain in the ass? Come on, get out of there. This car has the dumbest hardware. Why did Ford have to make this such a task? They couldn't just leave it open and let you get to it? Nobody's gonna steal your oil filter. Why would you have to put a cover on your oil filter? Is it gonna look ugly? I don't know if I'm actually twisting it loose or losing my glove. I think I'm just losing my glove. All right, let's get this on there. Come on. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Now I can get this off of my hand and it is going to just make nothing but a mess. I already know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's just dripping oil everywhere. Oh, of course, of course. Why would I expect anything else? It's doing nothing but just making, oh, God damn it. I got oil all over my face just now. That's why I screamed. Sorry for screaming. This is a horrible design. I don't know who would have put this here. Oh wait, Ford. Ooh, oh yeah, ooh. Nice, warm, hot oil. Oh yes. All right, so now the oil filter is going on and we can put this dumbass cover back up in place. And then this fucking screw is gonna be a pain in the ass to put back on. Uh, this is great. I feel like I'm literally just taking a shower in oil. Come on, tighten, dude. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> go on. There we go. Now it's in. Now I know there's gonna be a mess under there, so I'm gonna have to clean that later. I wanna see how much, how much shit is on my face. Hmm, not too bad. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there is definitely some oil. It looks like freckles. Now we can go ahead and actually fill the car with oil, thankfully. So we're gonna be putting all 10 quarts of oil in and all of this. Ah, we're putting 530 and it calls for 520. I see, track prep and one thing, I do, ooh, dude, nothing on this car has threads. Literally every single thing is just a quick thread and unthread. Look at that, look at that. Literally a 90 degree turn and you can just pull it straight out. Whack. Take me back to the old days. Where's the funnel? Where everything has threads. All right, time to get some clickbait. I do like these a lot too because they're actually like kind of an easy pour system. So you can actually pull them out like that <gasps> oh yeah you can pull them out and you got a nice little little tab that you can pour in green oil Ooh, that's one thing i like about parker performance a lot they're just a bunch of car guys who want to do car guy shit and they want to help other people do car guy shit they're not trying to just make all the money in the world they're just trying to help bring the community together and i support that ceratec reduces wear significantly the ceratec low friction effect reduces emissions ceratec improves motor performance ceratec increases motor service life and they also said that you're supposed to shake it before you pour it in oh 
It smells like shit. <laughs> oh, what a lovely color that is. Oh yeah, nice. Glad to know that that is what's gonna protect my engine. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to just twist the whole thing off. Now we can pour it faster. Oh God, I spilled a little bit of it. <gasps> oh, this is not going according to plan. I should have left the top on. I know that you're supposed to pour it sideways. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, that's how you protect your engine. Pour oil on it, not in it. Duh. Shake this bitch up. Mm. Our engine is now protect. I only made kind of a mess. So the shifter and this bushing insert, those are gonna be in their own video later on. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. I got some stickers. It's all we're really doing for now. I really just wanted to open this box up and show you guys what's coming. This shifter, dude, I wish I could express how excited I am to put this shifter in the car. I am way too excited, unnecessarily excited because like I said, the one thing that I did not like about that car since day one is the shifter. So having this, Oh, all right. Oh, there's a leaf here. Get that out of there, boy. I see my coolant is a little bit low though, so I'm gonna add some water to that. I do also really need to get a bunch of uh, Mishimoto stuff for this. I need to get a bigger radiator. I need to get an oil cooler. I need to get an overflow reservoir. Always needing car parts. Now we can get this out the way. Uh, what time is it? Ooh, 821. My stream's supposed to be starting soon, which by the way, if you guys don't follow me on Twitch, you definitely should because every single night at 9 p.m. Central, I am streaming on Twitch, either playing some kind of terrifying horror game. Oh my God, there's so much, oh shit. Recently, I've been fucking up Dead Space. It's been a lot of fun, or I'm usually playing like Warzone or something else with some friends. Yeah. What's yeah. good? What's yeah. good? Let's go ahead and give it its, uh, his first, oh wait, let's prime it. Clutch down, gas. It's cranking and you'll see the oil pressure should start climbing at some point. Yeah, there we go. Oil pressure. Perfect, boy. Wow, it's quiet. Usually on this side, you can hear that, that normal coyote tick, but it's extremely quiet. Damn, I'm impressed. I've never heard this car that quiet before. Usually the engine's making a whole bunch of ticking noises. Let's go ahead and get back inside. Oh yeah, I definitely made a mess. Well, I guess uh, I'll go ahead and clean this up. Well, I can go ahead and just leave that on the ground for a little bit so it can soak up all that oil. But we're approaching nine o'clock, so I gotta hurry up and go stream. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn on notifications so that way you can see every time a video goes live and well, gosh darn it. Hopefully you guys have a good night. Enjoy yourselves. So anyways, see you next time.